Hello students, welcome to Learner's Planet. Now in today's session, we are going to start with a new chapter that is Reproduction in Animals. Well, uh, basically, you must be knowing the basic criteria or the basic characteristic features of the living things, right? Uh, what are the important properties of living things? Living things are those which are able to grow. Uh, they can uh, uh, obtain food from outside and digest it within their body, right? Or they can synthesize food for themselves, isn't it? So as to uh, regulate their different body systems. Besides that, they can uh, respire, they can move from one place to another and so on. So these are the basic functions like circulation, uh, respiration, digestion. All these are the basic properties or the basic processes which are required for the survival of an individual. Whether it is a plant or it is an animal, they have to follow or they have to perform these basic functions for their own survival. Isn't it? Now, uh, these processes are related with the survival of an individual. But, there is another process which is required for the continuation of life. Getting my point? The process which helps in the continuation of uh, uh, life of an organism or, or, or the life on earth or the continuation of species. So such a process is actually uh, maintained or such, uh, such, such a thing is maintained by the process of reproduction. So reproduction basically it helps in maintaining the number of organisms and secondly it helps in the continuation of life on our planet so now in today's session let us understand that what this process is actually and how it occurs in the animals fine so this word re uh, reproduction here you can see this uh, uh, this part that is re re means what again and production it means to produce Right. So basically this reproduction is uh, uh, related to the production of new individuals from the existing ones. This is what the basic meaning of the word reproduction. So now how can we define this reproduction process? The process by which all living organisms produce offspring of their own type. So uh, so the term or this part which is used here in the definition that all living organisms, right. So this suggests that uh, uh, this is one of the important uh, feature or the important process which is uh, uh, taking place in the living organism or it is one of the criteria so as to decide whether something is alive or not. Fine. Uh, secondly, one important thing I should mention here is that uh, reproduction is required for the maintenance of life, right, uh, on earth. But it is not so that if the reproduction is not taking place, the organism, the individual organism is not able to survive. It is nothing like that. So therefore, I am repeatedly saying this thing that reproduction is required for the maintenance of uh, uh, num maintenance of the number of organisms in the population and secondly for the continuation of life on the earth fine so uh, as we are saying these organisms they are able to produce offspring the young ones which are produced they are known as the offspring right of their own type this is something very important while we are defining the process of reproduction why i am saying of own type because it is uh, never possible that a particular species can give rise to or it can produce the different type of organism. Dogs will never produce the cats. Human beings will never produce the monkeys. Right. So whatever individual or whatever type of organism is reproducing, the young one which is going to be produced is going to be of the uh, parental type only. Now, if this uh, uh, thing is happening, now can you imagine why it is so? What is happening during this process uh, due to which the organisms which are produced, they are similar to their parental generations. What happens is the transmission of characters. Whatever uh, code is there for the characteristic features in the parental generation, they are transmitted in the next generation. 
and is when this transmission occurs definitely the information is or the uh, physical appearance or the basic uh, constitution of that new offspring will be identical or similar to the previous generation uh, and this information you know how it is uh, transferred it is transmitted in, in the form of genes so genes uh, they are the hereditary unit of life right so such a inheritance helps in the copying of organisms it helps in the uh, production of the new organisms now the point is that how it is taking place how the process occurs so students basically there are two modes of reproduction and they are the sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction and I hope that you must be aware of these two types of reproduction. The basic uh, fundamental, uh, fundamental feature must be clear to you about the reproduction. But actually how it happens, that it is, whether it is sexual or it is asexual reproduction, how it occurs, what is the basic difference between the two and how, the, uh, how this transmission is taking place in, the, in each case. So the basic difference is that in the sexual reproduction, as the name is suggesting, sexual part of our body are involved. Whereas asexual reproduction, the A, this prefix, it suggests the absence. So in this case, it suggests that there is, uh, the, uh, there is no involvement of the sexual parts of the body. Now, again, if these two things are, ta uh, we are focusing on these two things, then how it is taking place? So, one by one, we will discuss about each type of process and we'll try to understand uh, the basic uh, phenomena or the basic um, uh, characteristic features of each type. So, let us first begin with the sexual reproduction.